Hi folks, this is a prequel to the intro. I just reviewed some of my editing and because I was going to be away from the mic talking down, I decided to use a clip-on mic and of course it was wired. I think in the future I'll use Bluetooth. So you'll see throughout the video this little black wire in the lower left corner of the video. I apologize for that. It's very unprofessional. Um, hopefully you can put up with it. And uh, I thought it was going to be shorter, but I just looked at the video and it's it's pretty long. So I'm going to try as hard as possible to speed up or cut out some of the stuff that just isn't necessary. So I hope you like it anyway. Um, let me know. Uh, either share it, like it, dislike it, comment, uh, subscribe, any of those normal things. Uh, so uh, on with the video. Thanks. Hi folks. Welcome to another video from my basement. Uh, today is going to be a clean day. No grease, no oil, no machine tools, no heavy lifting. Instead, we're going to be at my workbench, and we are going to try to repair, see if I have one complete. I don't even have one put together. An amp probe. This is a, oops, and I just lost something out of that. Can't be worth much. It's a clamp-on meter. Um, here's one pretty much put together. As you can see, I have several of them and pieces for several others. I had three working ones, but they have dwindled down to one, and I really like them. They're, I know they're old, but uh, yeah, that's what I grew up with, you might say. So we're going to try to make good ones out of all these different pieces. I see one, two, three, four, five. I see five clamps, which means I must have five units. It looks like there's five here. So I should be able to get two or three out of this, especially since I believe one is still working. Actually, the one that's still working is the oversized one. So we're going to probably not really repair that much. Um, I'm going to say it's three basic units, three things that can go wrong. One is the coil assembly, the transformer, current transformer. The second is the meter. And the third is the electronics or electrical devices on the main board. So we're going to go through these and see how many of the, of the transformers work then how many coils work and we'll see what we can come up with so I may get a little boring I guess we'll see and I'm gonna see where I can set you up so it's a little closer all right we're gonna try something a little different today for audio So, where to start? Well, I certainly don't need these cases in the way. So I have Now I'm going to put these
boy, it's amazing how clips and wires can get in the way. All right, so now maybe we'll be somewhat cleaner here. So I believe what I should do is take one lead off the transformer and ohm them out. So we will we'll see if we have good readings. For those and as usual I will need some glasses now technically these are AC only meters so it really doesn't matter which way these two leads go but I'm going to unsolder all of them from the same spot. And what is interesting is that it looks like we have two different versions. Definitely have two different versions. Uh, three different versions. <clears throat> if you notice, one, two, three, these all have a enclosed meter. These don't. The coloring and the design, the traces are smaller on these two. Um, 915940 and 915... 941. So I think these might even be. <clears throat> they are different. The boards look like they're the same number. The meters are different. As are the uh, transformers. These three. <clears throat> First two look the same. This one looks slightly different. It doesn't have the variable resistors here. Someone has put fixed resistors there and there. So, uh, I'm hoping that they did not change the transformers so we'll try to keep them all in the same series we'll see what happens here so we have one ohm 172 yeah 169 158 wow 143 has a bad transformer all right well that gets us down to four so the next thing to test maybe I should just take this off of here then I'll I'll know I'm gonna take this off maybe even open it up and it looks like this case is better than this case this is all broken up on the top so I may end up having to swap the electronics but first I'm gonna see if I can get this transformer off
take it off and put it in a pile someplace, then I'll know that it was bad. Probably put it back in the box. Well, I guess that was supposed to stay in there. That actually holds the anvil together, these two pins. Okay, that's fine. All right, we'll put the nut back on a little bit. So what could possibly be wrong with this? Well, one could hope that it is the small, the small wires inside here. Huh. All right, fine, we'll just cut you. Don't want to cause more damage than there already is. My best hope is that the wire has broken right where it gets soldered to the coil. But if I try too hard, I'll end up with a wire that's broken right as it goes into the coil, into the winding. I do not want that. So I have to be a... little careful on how I dissect this. So I have the first wire loop out. This is where it gets critical. Well, it's not the greatest connection. Oh, I don't like where that one's going. I'm gonna shut off the soldering iron for a minute. Let's try right at the windings. Well, I just tested it and it seemed open, but what I think I'm going to do is actually see if I can unsolder this tiny little wire. Man, it's so tiny on that. It doesn't help that they get twisted together. Come off of there. No, that may not, it may not be regular solder. I was looking for a pair of white handled needle nose because those are a very small pair. Not as bulky as this, but I don't think I'm going to have any luck with that. And this one. They almost look like they were welded on the end. Huh. Well, that wasn't welded very well. I 
Well, let me clean off some of the... Well, takes care of that. And... Uh-oh. We're making it smaller. Well, if it was good, it may not be good anymore. I'm trying to clean off some of the... insulation on that all right I'm down right to the winding itself no it's dead all right so much for that okay in the box he goes so now to test meters have to be careful testing meters I had a one and a half volt battery that I just put across the meter quickly um, and I had these really thick rigid wires so let me go get some new ones all right well that's a good battery i'm gonna see, see if i have a holder for it I still have one and a half volts. All right, I have one and a half volts. And what I do, this is a little risky. You take your meter and that meter seems to be dead. Two down, that's not good. Something screwy here. I thought I tested these this way the other day. Well, I'm, something's not right. This is not working to my... thought I used a one and a half volt battery right across the meter just quickly and I'm sure I didn't burn anything out one and a half all right what's going on here well this may be the shortest demo Oh, maybe I'll have to take an ohm meter to them and see. Did I? Are they all cooked now? I find that. Oh, now well, that meter moved. All right. So this one actually may work. The meter runs fine. But this one works, but it hangs up. So now all of a sudden they're working. Well, I spoke too soon, I guess. But it's possible. You know, I'm going to say he's probably dead. Now I don't have, well, I have a metal case here, I guess. 
Ach. Oh, that meter's good. And this one's going to be a little harder to test. That meter's good. All right. So this one is a sticky. So the question becomes, I have to put some of these together again and see how many actually will read a current. I have a test set up, but I've got to solder these back together. And I probably should mark him because I know he's got a He's got a bad, uh, he's got a bad meter itself. All right. Well, what we will do is put these on. This is a amp probe device. 1x, 5x, 10x, and I have about three and a half amps. So if I go to 15 amps on the five, I should see the needle almost peg or peg a little bit. And we'll see if that happens. Nine amps. Well, that's interesting. Let's go to six amps on times one. I get two amps. Well, clearly something's wrong with that one. And nothing on that. So I'm going to say this guy is probably no good. Now this guy, he's on six amps. Boy, this makes it tough. We don't get anything on him either. Urgh. So that's not good. And this guy, we know he hangs up, but we're going to put him on six. Wow. Are they all that dead? Two amps. He works. He doesn't. He doesn't. And this broken one doesn't. All right. Well, that's not a very good uh, batting average here. So I'm going to take and put this guy. Oops. Well, he broke off. Well, I'll put him on again. And then move him. Actually, I think I'll move him anyway because this guy does not have a broken case. Three hundred amps. Wow. Hundred, forty, fifteen, and six.
Uh, he's showing me almost six amps. I'm getting some very interesting readings. Of course, now the wire broke. But I'm wondering if, in fact, it's just a dirty contact on the um, on the switch because it went from like no reading to way too much reading to the right reading. So I think what I'm going to do is take my Oh, that's good for the other side. All right, so now these guys have to get squared up. because the base carrier has little squares on it. I'll start one. Okay. So now, switch. All right, just use some tuna wash. Oh, now the other one broke. And this needs to be trimmed back. All right, well, let's get rid of some of the crap on the table here. And uh, clip him in. Well, clearly there's something going on with this. It, um, well, there's a break someplace in it. That's what it looks like. Uh, these guys two amps doesn't, doesn't cut it for me, I don't think. Huh. Alright, it says two amps. That's pretty interesting. Well, this one says under three. Let's see, we do 10 times. I have 30 amps at 10 times, so 3 amps. All right. So this guy clearly is out of calibration I'd have to see how that's calibrated I'm thinking one of these two pads 
but this is the one with the sticky meter that worked. Yeah, that shows three and a half. Let's try to clean up the. All right, let's go to six on this. Six amps, max. This does not do anything. So, so what have we learned? Huh. We've learned one's probably out of calibration. One has a sticky meter. One has got a broken top. One is dead, it looks like. And one is also dead. So I have two that are dead, if I'm not mistaken. No, this one. This has got to break someplace. Well, I'm getting nowhere as fast on this. <laughs> and the frustration level is going up a little. This one, I might just have to redo all the solder joints. And it almost looks like somebody did that once. Because um, it is sensitive to me pressing the board. And so I have one here that's fairly, fairly good, which I had always had fairly good, but a red low. No, well, it doesn't read low now. That reads three and a half on the six amp scale. This is the sticky, this is the sticky one. Oh, this is the sticky one. Sticky but functional. See, it just something in the meter movement I don't know if it's a bad bad pivot this one is this the one that reads zero well this one reads low question becomes how do you adjust it well let's see what that did to it it's got some adjustments on it well that didn't do it The amp probes, besides reading current on well, you've got six amps, fifteen, forty, and a hundred and three hundred, but then you got voltage on the bottom, six hundred, three hundred, one fifty. So it's possible that when I change these, oh, that one looks like it was moved. Uh, 
and I don't know why. Oh, closer to three amps that time. Oh, good. All right. So I must have whacked. I must have whacked this little potentiometer. I could see a scrape mark. Um, so I put it back to where the beginning of the scrape mark was. So this one is probably good. I'm going to put the good ones up there. So that leaves me these two. This one, cold solder joint. And this one we don't know. I'll have to go back and figure out what I was doing. This one was dead. Dead on all the current scales. But we know the meter was good. So I can come back to him, I guess, later. So the question becomes, do I... Go through and try to re-solder all these. Why not? I'm doing a little touch up on everything here. I don't like the way that wire is on there. All right, that was a first pass through soldering all the most obvious connectors. Well, I think it's where the meter connects. Well, I'm going to put a little piece of wire on that. Just as a test. The wire's not very clean. It's pretty oxidized. But we're gonna... We're gonna stick it on there anyway. It, that did it. All right. So, um, I'm going to call it a day here. I'll come back to this, but all I'm going to do is put these together. I have two good ones. One, one, two. This has got a screwed up meter. different vantage point. I ran out of space on my SD card just as I was finishing up this guy and I said I'm gonna call it a day. So I'm gonna give you a synopsis here. I have one good one. It was out of calibration. Probably was okay before I opened it up. So that should be okay. This one has a sticky uh, meter, which I can take out of this one, because this this one is dead electrically or electronically. This one, it turns out that either the screw that goes, that holds the meter in place, or the other side where it's it's threaded on to the underneath this wire. It's it's bolted onto the trace is intermittent. 
so what I did is I put this little wire on here. It just goes right to the top of the meter where the, it's supposed to go to ground, and it works fine. So I should have at least three good ones when I get done. And I'm not going to show you assembling them or taking this wire and making it neat and stuff. I may get lucky, but I doubt it, that this transformer is good. The meter is going to the old one on the other side of the bench. But I think the electronics in here are okay. So I may take this unit and stick it on here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get a good one here, but I'll get at least three good ones out of it. One, two, three. So thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking it out to the end. Um, I know it gets boring in a lot of spots. When you're troubleshooting, I spend a lot of time thinking about stuff and looking at stuff, and it looks really boring. I had sped up a lot of that to try to get, alleviate some of that. And this is different for me. I, I'm usually doing mechanical stuff. I mean, my background's electronics, but it's hard for me to show things electronics for troubleshooting because it's just not a lot of action. That being said, if you stuck it out, thanks a lot. Uh, if you don't mind, give it a like. Share it with other people. Uh, subscribe if you want. If you dislike it, uh, you can say dislike. I won't. I won't take it wrong. Um, tell me what you didn't like about it, so that I can improve in the future. Um, I like to be entertaining when I'm doing things. The trouble is, I get really technical, and I kind of just forget there's an audience. I try, but um, <laughs> that's not my best suit. So again, thanks for watching, and uh, next I think I'm back on my Lister engine. I've got, uh, oh, i got a bunch of other videos out there if this is the first one you've seen. So you might want to watch some. It, it, they they spanned quite a bit from um, zip lining to working on my backhoe, uh, snow blowers, you name it. Uh, and it's probably going to get even a broader base as I get going. So with that, I'm going up and having lunch, and uh, we'll uh, catch you on the next one, I hope. Have a good day, and uh, thanks for watching.